can't believe we did two joint live streams in this now very empty little hotel room. <laughs> we wrapped up, about to check out, about to head over to House of Blades and check some stuff out last minute before we head on home. So come along with me on this journey. <laughs> Shout out Nomadic PM 35 liter and MBST aluminum traveler luggage. Oh my god. Couldn't have done it without y'all. For real, for real. Oh, and of course, Air Gold Sling 2. Y'all already know about that, but that's the loadout. That's the loadout. <laughs> What's up, dude? <laughs> Hi. Hello. I'm, I'm sad that you're leaving tonight. Dude, I'm sad you're like, leaving seriously. tonight. What do the dragon fries They're look like? They're spicy fries. They're Very? my favorite. Oh, no, really? They're spicy. They're just the roller fry with the spicy zucchini. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> oh, food was delicious. Dragon fries are a thing, and you should get it here. But what is this one? Which? The so Cook Shack! <laughs> the Cook Shack dragon fries are where it's at. Anyway. Remember to stay hydrated. The man said it. <laughs> Remember to stay hydrated. We're going to House of Blades. Let's do the shop tour, y'all. What's up, dude? What's up, man? What's going on? Guys? Thanks for having me. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. All right, give the tour. Let's go. Where are we? Okay, welcome to the Benchmade Corner. Uh, where all the Benchmades are at. If you like mini Adamuses, Adamuses, if you like. The uh, infidel. Right, forget, it. forget it. I'm gonna do it. You, you can't do it. All right, we are inside, and it's not just blades here. There's a lot of different stuff. There's flashlights. There's kitchen knives. There's camping gear. Knife maintenance tools. It's it's a pretty large gamut of things. But we're gonna start right here. This is the bench made corner. This is the bench made shelf. We've got look this. There's just so many knives, so many things to look at. We're gonna walk down these aisles right now and you can see the sheer quantity and volume of everything, everything that's around here. And for good reason too, right? If you're gonna sell lots of different blades, you really wanna make sure you have options for your audience, right? So, whoa. back at Blade Show, we saw a lot of different perspectives, talked to a lot of different types of people, but you know, they, everyone was showing their best pieces, right? Just a few pieces that are hot, new, what they're working on right now. But here you can get a ton of different options and eyes on production knives and really options that you might think about getting next. You can really start to find out for yourself what works for you and what doesn't. You know, looking at a product page on a website, that'll, that'll work for like 10 seconds. And then after that, you gotta really keep it in hand so you really know whether or not that's gonna be for you or not. So come into a place like this or your local knife store, wherever you may be, that's honestly one of the best ways to just find out real quick whether this is for you or not. I recognize that. Literally, Workshop is the reason why I can maintain my knives at home. Like, back where I'm at, I don't think I have a local knife store that I can physically walk into. And my only option of taking care of my knives is either getting whetstones on my own and doing it at home or sending it in, depending on the manufacturer, like Benchmade, I know they have their, I don't know what it's called, like Stay Sharp Guarantee or something like that, but if you have a dull edge, you send it in, they'll give you back a factory edge. And that's just part of owning that knife, that's that warranty. But with Workshop, just figure out how to do it, figure out what the process is, and you can maintain your knives a lot better. So a big part of knife carry is not only being able to use it, developing that skill, but also maintaining it because what good is a tool if it's not well maintained? It's gonna break on you on the job. So WorkSharp, definitely where I would start. I think it's the Precision Adjust Elite. There you go, right here. All right, here we go. We're getting to the fun part of the store. It's not just EDC and knives, but we're getting into camping. You saw the coolers back there, the Yetis. We gotta talk about Yeti in a minute. Kitchen stuff, cutting blocks, chef's knives over here. Check this wall out, check this wall out. I don't think I've ever seen that many kitchen knives in one spot, like, <laughs> this place is huge, super huge. All right, lessons learned about Yeti. The low ball, not a travel mug, won't fit in your cup holder. A rambler, a travel mug, it will fit in your cup holder. 
That was on me. That was a me problem. I chose the wrong piece of gear, the wrong type of loadout, and expected it to do something it wasn't designed to do. So. Oh. Products, helping you guys with your order, and then obviously just doing this all day. Awesome. Um, so, stuff. what do you have in your pockets, or what is that? Yeah, come on, man. Show. You gotta the tell show, them. You gotta the tell them, Mordax, baby. guys. I got number forty-five from the table. So. Oh my god. So that's the yeah. that's the Blade Show exclusive. Yeah. Hex pattern. Honeycomb. You know, kind honeycomb, of whatever. Yeah. yeah they yeah, decided yeah, to do, but tactile turn Overland. Yes. Yeah. Man, love that thing. Things all beat up. I've had a few beer bombs before, but that's. That's the one. That's the grail. That's yeah. the keeper, right? Man. Needless to say, you got everything you wanted from Blade, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Nice guy bar, too. You okay. know, I got to have everything on me, so. Dude, thanks for sharing. Yeah, man. for sure, Appreciate man. Thank you. you. Appreciate it. And, and, and. I want to say a personal thank you to this guy for bringing me out. This is brought to you by House of Blades. I wouldn't be able to do this, be here without this guy in House of Blades. So, thank yeah, you so much, man. man. This is a huge experience for me. Next and year. Next year. Get dude, me. it's going to be wild. It's going to yeah, be wild. For sure, man. <laughs> That'll be a good one for us. All right, we got a secret level up in here. We're getting the exclusive look from Mr. Chris himself. What's up here, man? Fridge full of goodies. Ooh. Got to restock, got to re-up on that. Oh my God, the vault. This is it. The vault, man, yeah. Oh so where we keep everything, try and keep everything nice and organized. Yeah. Yep. The halls of knives. <laughs> halls of knives. Here, but... oh, that's all good. Adds to the mood, you know? Yeah. Uh, so this is where you watch all my live streams. This is where I'm watching <laughs> the live streams and doing the work. Oh, I see that. Yeah, yeah. Who's that? Couch, May I? Ready. Yeah, go ahead. Oh my goodness. Almost like I took everything out to make sure I had on. You gotta have the knockout. The Chun Li, the Castle Grayscale Chun Li. Oh my god. Oh, so cute. <laughs> I know that's great. Like you said, sometimes Ooh. colors just pop. Let me be extra careful. Ooh, I see that area yeah, that sitting area there. Sitting in there, hiding yeah. away. Mm hmm. It's a good home for it, man. Good home for it. All right, what are you gonna show us, man? Top secret, man. I'm gonna show you the owner's vault. The owner's vault? Oh my. Oh, got stuck on that door, but we are done at House of Blades. Awesome place, awesome people. Use code PURPOSE to save on your order if you're ready to check out with that knife. But we are done here and we're going to the next spot the airport. <laughs> I beat. <laughs> I don't think I felt it because of the adrenaline, but I slept for 12 hours when I got back and I'm just now getting back into the swing of things. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog series. Let me know down below what your favorite part was, whether it was the editing, the vlog style, or even just the interviews I had with the awesome people I saw at Blade Show Texas. If Atlanta's anything like this, it's gonna be a damn good time. <laughs> I'm holding a live stream either today or by the time you see this, it will have already gone live. Breaking down my reactions, my whole experience of Blade Show, Texas, you can ask your burning questions there. And of course, I'll show you my gear haul, what I picked up, what I came across at Blade. So, I'll see you there. The word purpose, peace. <laughs> I'm, I'm so tired. <laughs> you know what's funny? Oh yeah. I was gonna, I was gonna pretend to open and close the door and just come in, but I'm already strapped in. <laughs> Imagine. That was the go. That was the take. What? All right, shooting, shooting. Yeah. Remember to stay, stay hydrated. God damn it. <laughs> come on, bro. Yeah, let's try I'm trying again. to learn from the best. <laughs> let's try. Once we're like 600. No, well, let's just throw it on there and see. You know, it's a factory edge. It was like a 60. Oh. <laughs> Wait, we can just do this right here. I don't even have to. Like, <laughs> 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 keep going.
Oh, this is a 